I'm Dan Brown, and I'm hosting the 2012 Flash Forward Awards, honoring the most influential people in the music tech world. I'm totally nerding out right now. The vibe here at the Flash Forward Awards is incredible. People are ready for a party. I think they're going to get a party. Everyone's really excited to be here, celebrate music and technology, celebrate Internet Week. It feels like the Oscars for tech nerds. I've been to music events, and I've been to tech conferences, and it's got this perfect blend. It just brings together amazing people uh, from around the industry, folks that are just starting out to the biggest names, as well as the technology companies that are really shaping the future of the industry. My name is Scooter Braun, and I just won the 2012 Soundwave Honoree Award. It's pretty wild. I, uh, I was saying earlier up there that uh, I still feel like the 19-year-old kid in Atlanta trying to prove to everyone that I wasn't crazy. Hopefully one of my acts will be holding something like this, but it'll be a Grammy in their hands, and I'll be sitting in the crowd in a suit, uncomfortable, crying my eyes out with pride. Tonight I am presenting the Best in Discovery Award to Spotify. It's a great platform for any type of artist, whether you're known or unknown, commercial or underground. We live in an age where people expect things for free. As time goes on, Spotify will become more ingrained in, in the culture of how we take in music um, and hopefully television shows and, and movies and all the other things that Spotify will probably bring us in the future. You know, music is so available, you can just snatch it out the sky. Spotify has found a way to make that happen and still drive traffic to the artists and to the sales. You know, it's early days, but we're, we definitely are seeing, you know, a, a lot of momentum and uh, people that, you know, use the service end up getting hooked, most of them. If your music's good enough and your branding is good enough and your artist is authentic enough, then you should have no problem with people viewing things for free. I love Spotify, everyone should use Spotify. The most interesting thing to me that happened in music tech, probably Tupac's hologram. The time and energy and dedication that went into it. From my understanding, they had to get a body model and someone imitate Tupac's voice. With technology, we can still appreciate some, some of our favorite artists, even if they're not even here. I'd say it's kind of a toss up between Spotify, which has like changed my life, and um, Scott Snibby, who uh, built the app album for Bjork. Bjork's Biophilia app is the most significant thing in music tech this year. It's the first of its kind. Blew my mind when I saw it the first time. You're gonna see just more and more companies bringing you know, great opportunities to discover music and to consume music. Um, Spotify in particular, you know, we're really building it into a platform. The fact that they've launched apps within the Spotify application is a, a phenomenal improvement. Um, some of those apps, from Pitchfork to uh, Music Maven, some of the other ones, it's kept me incredibly current with with some of the good stuff going on right now. We're gonna see you know, more and more companies and just cool you know, third party hackers and people developing these like, means for uh, discovering music. That's all it's about. 